the last episode, we left the land behind us and headed to sea. In this episode, we're out on the Atlantic. We have reached the open ocean. And boy, was that a mistake. So we left Sandy Hook, and out on the Atlantic, we headed south along the Jersey Shore, and it was time to raise the sails. Around and up on, will the fifty be crossed, dance on the Footland's bubbles. Fall in the boys, or the ship will be lost, fall in the buckles, fall in the buckles, fall in. The captain stood out with a glass in his hand. Out on the Atlantic, with our sails finally raised, we headed off into the sunset. Yeah, except that the mainsail sail track started pulling away from the mast, sprinkling screws down on the deck. The topping lift got jammed. We managed to get it back down. Um, but yeah, we are, we are motoring again because the, the main mast is gonna need a lot of work before we can sail. So, we're gonna have to do some, some calculating, some figuring, and who knows what will happen. But we did make it to the Atlantic. We are, we are out here and it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if, if we went that way, we'd just go to England. I mean, except the um, mast doesn't work and the diesel would run out. And, yeah, we'd all drown, but still, the principle is, is there. We're on the ocean, we ran away to sea. We left Olcott, New York, September 28th, one month ago, almost to the day. We went across Lake Ontario, down the Oswego Canal, the Erie Canal, the Hudson River, past New York, past Staten Island. We've had a real journey. We are finally on the ocean, woohoo! We're finally on the ocean. Where's your next stop? We're not sure. We can stop in Cape May, or we could just keep going. With the seas calm and no significant weather predicted, we made the decision. Why not push on through the night? Why not keep on going? So we did. We glided past Atlantic City at midnight. At about three in the morning, the wind predictions turned out to be wrong. Over the next couple of hours, the winds reached gale force. In the darkness, trying to keep the bow striking the waves was so difficult. We kept turning sideways. We were worried we might capsize. We were scared for our boat. We were scared for ourselves. By daybreak, we were only a mile from the shelter of Cape May Harbor. It took us two hours fighting 20 knot winds, but eventually we made it into the harbor and into safety. We tied up at the South Jersey Marina 
started picking up everything on the inside, started drying out all of our bedding which had been soaked wet. And then we got some news that changed our plans for a few days. We got as far as Cape May, New Jersey, and the great state of Texas, in their infinite wisdom, declined to accept our application for mail-in ballots and let us know when it was too late to, to reapply. So we've rented a car, we're driving 26 hours to Houston, Texas, where we will vote, and then we'll turn right around, drive back again. So that's what we're doing. It took 26 hours of driving, <laughs> but we have voted, and now we get to drive back again. So this is fun. Arthur and I filled out the exact same forms. Um, we get here, having Arthur got emailed that like his ballot was refused. We just assumed mine was for the same reasons, because they were identical requests to vote by mail ballots. Um, I get here and they say, no, no, we sent you a vote by mail ballot. So mine was approved while well, his was denied. They were identical other than our names and our signatures. And yours didn't get there. They and said mine, they sent it. We and just didn't mine didn't it. get there. So thankfully I did show up to vote today because they let me. I had to sign you know, paperwork and provisional ballot. But I did get to vote. But we had the exact same thing. This shouldn't happen this way. Nope. But we did it. We did it. Let's get back in the car. We are back from our drive to Houston, Texas and back to New Jersey. And we are leaving South Jersey Marina early tomorrow morning and to head to Delaware Bay down the C&D Canal and then to, uh, to the Chesapeake Bay. Should be a trip, should be a fun trip. It should be good weather, but you've seen our track record so far. So I guess we'll find out. In the next episode, we have more morning mist, but it is beautiful. We have some of the most gorgeous scenery we've ever seen in our lives. We try mooring for the first time. We have more engine trouble. We have speedboats. We have lots of bananas. We have everything. I want to cuddle you. Now I am breeding! Oh